Lane. I'm running for public advocate along with uh, my, my co-runner there, uh, Akeem Browder, who's running for mayor of New York City. And I feel that uh, with us as the top of the ticket, you know, we have a possibility to, to raise up the hopes of, of people that didn't vote in the 2013 election. You know, in 2013, it was like a 23% voter turnout. Yeah. So that means that we have at least 77% of the people that were so disgusted with the choices that, that they had that maybe if they learned about you know, third party candidates, alternative party candidates, especially the Green Party, they would actually turn out to vote for them. And I've been seeing that more and more as I'm campaigning now. People say, oh, I wasn't even gonna vote this year. Are you kidding me? Those people? And I'm like saying, yeah, but I'm running, and, and the team's running, and the Green Party goes, oh, then I'm definitely voting. <laughs> you know, and this is why I wanted you all to give yourselves a hand of applause, and a round of applause, because forums like this are the things that we get invited to, and the things that we get to share our opinions and plans for. You know, New York One had a public advocate debate that Tish graciously allowed the Republican candidate to come into, but <laughs> she didn't want any other candidate to come in. And uh, so, so these, oh, oh, 20 seconds, okay, great. So these are the kind of things that I'm trying to reform. One, one of my biggest issues is reforming, or transforming our electoral processes. Like, right now, the Board of Elections and the Campaign Finance Board, they have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of putting a guideline that people can participate in debates if they raise X amount of dollars is totally unjustified. Especially we have my opponent, my Democratic opponent, Tish James, on her own, through Democratic databases, has raised $900,000. But then she begged the Campaign Finance Board for an additional $700,000, saying that she has a really tough race against a Republican candidate and other third parties. When in fact, when you look at the numbers, the closest uh, third party, or well, the closest candidate that raised like $40,000, her closest competitor, was David Eisenberg, who's not even in the race anymore. Mm -hmm. So why is money in politics being endorsed by this current public advocate candidate. So these are the reasons why I'm running to transform the system, getting money out of politics, and actually making a system that really represents all the people. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.